Let's compare the 10 Mark II versus the 5 Mark II. First let's take the 10 Mark II in the hand and the first thing we notice is how very light the device is. It just weighs 151 grams and thanks to the matte plastic frame, the 29 aspect ratio of the body, it lays pretty good in the hand. The Xperia 5 Mark II feels a lot more substantial with its 163 grams and cold to the touch thanks to the polished glossy metal frame around the device. It also lays good in the hand and feels compact but powerful where the 10 Mark II feels a bit like a toy. If we take a look at the front, you will notice a subtle changes in the earpiece when comparing the 10 Mark II with the 5 Mark II. The 5 Mark II's earpiece goes all the way up to the edge of the frame. The 10 Mark II's earpiece sits in the middle of the top bar. Here you can also see that the top bar which is much bigger and thicker in size. And the bezels in general are a bit bigger on the 10 Mark II. The front camera is an 8 megapixel shooter on both. The sensor on paper is the same, but the Xperia 5 Mark II seems to produce brighter photos. The front firing speaker on the bottom has a bigger slit cutout on the Xperia 10 Mark II in comparison to the 5 Mark II. The front firing speaker on the bottom of the Xperia 5 can be used together with the earpiece to create a very rich and loud sound. The 10 Mark II can only use the front firing bottom speaker for producing audio, which is a bit tinny. On the right side of the frame you can see that the volume and power button with integrated fingerprint reader are exactly the same. Besides the material difference on the 10 Mark II's plastic and the 5 Mark II's aluminum. The 5 Mark II has two buttons more. The controversial Google Assistant button that is pretty flush to the frame. And the two staged shutter button which allows precise focusing and taking a shot with the camera app. When it comes to the display, it is almost the same size, 6 inch versus 6.1 inch, with the same resolution, which gives the Xperia 10 Mark II a slightly higher pixel density. Both displays are protected by Gorilla Glass 6. The 5 Mark II has a trick up its sleeve with the support of 120Hz high refresh rate, which makes the UI run butterly smooth. This results in a faster operating speed on the 5 Mark II, but also the integrated Snapdragon 865 with 8GB of RAM help in comparison to the 665 with only 4GB of RAM. Apps stay longer open and start a lot quicker. When we take a look at the back, we see a triple lens setup on both. The Xperia 10 Mark II features 2 times 8 megapixel sensors with tailor and ultra wide angle with a 12 megapixel main sensor. But the 5 Mark II has a free 12 megapixel sensors. So ultra wide and tailor with 12 megapixel with same aperture as the 10 Mark II but bigger sensors. The main 12 megapixel sensor has very large pixels with a 1 over 1.7 inch sensor. This results in way better performance on the 5 Mark II no matter in daylight or night time. You get more dynamic range, faster focusing and more accurate white balance with the 5 Mark II.
Both handsets feature a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack that allows you to plug in earphones. The Xperia 5 Mark II offers a special chip that produces a better stereo separation between the left and right channels. On the bottom both feature a USB Type-C port where the Xperia 5 Mark II offers a speed of 3.1 where the Xperia 10 Mark II only offers USB 2. Microphones allow on the Xperia 5 Mark II to enable a special wind filter which allows you to filter out wind. When it comes to battery life, the Xperia 5 Mark II offers the bigger battery with 4000 mAh in comparison to the 10 Mark II's 3600. This results in around 2 hours longer screen on time on the Xperia 5 Mark II in comparison to the 10 Mark II. In general, both offer a very good battery life and you can use them throughout the day. This is the comparison of the Xperia 10 Mark II versus the 5 Mark II. Write down in the comment section what you think, which is the better device, which has the better design. Do you like the matte finish, even though it is a bit plasticky on the frame of the device, or the glossy one? Do you like the rounded corners on the sides? Do you wish this button wouldn't exist, the Google Assistant one? What would you improve on both devices? That's everything for this video, hope you enjoyed it, thanks for watching, until the next time.